With GSAP, we can create animations like this in a few lines of code. Now there's two steps in this animation. Let's tackle the zoom in first and learn some GSAP as we go. I'm starting with this five by five grid in Webflow and we want to zoom into the image in the middle of the grid. We can do that with a simple line of GSAP. Now GSAP code always looks like this. First, the GSAP object, then a method. This is the type of tween we want to use. We'll cover tweens in a future video. Then a target element, what we want to animate in our page. And finally, the variables object what exactly we want to do to that element. If we go back to our animation, we want to animate to a state where the grid is much larger. That's what's giving us that impression that we're zooming into the image in the middle. So we'll use the method to, because we are animating to a future state. Our target element is the grid, which we've conveniently named grid because we are good at naming things. And finally, we say where we want to end up using the variables object. We're going to scale up our grid by five, then give it some easing and run it for two and a half seconds. And with just this one line of code, we've built a big chunk of this loading animation, which we'll finish up in the next video. If you want to dive deeper into GSAP, the clonable of this video is in the link in bio or in the first comment. Now, I know a lot of you are eager to learn GSAP, so let me know in the comments if you'd like a whole series on GSAP basics.